Good morning and uh, thank you for the opportunity to join you uh, at the 13th Community Based Adaptation Meeting. My name is Kristalina Georgieva. I am the Interim President of the World Bank Group and the Chief Executive Officer of the World Bank. I want to share with you uh, how I felt when I finished reading the latest IPCC special report. All I could think of was the person I most dearly love my eight-year-old granddaughter. By the time she is 20, climate change could push more than 100 million people into poverty. By the time she is 40, 143 million people could become climate migrant. And if she lives to be 90, our planet could be barely livable unless we act, unless we concentrate today on reducing emissions and accelerating climate adaptation. To safeguard our present, but especially our future, we must support communities around the globe as they work to build resilience. And we at the World Bank are a big part of that action. We recently announced a very ambitious new commitment to help achieve resilience through our Adaptation and Resilience Action Plan. It will lift up adaptation funding to 50 billion over the next five years. This is more than double what we have done in the last five years, and it is the first time when we are placing adaptation and mitigation on equal footing. I am personally committed to building global awareness of the critical urgency for adaptation through my work at the bank, but also through my work as a co-chair of the Global Commission on Adaptation, alongside with uh, uh, Ban Ki-moon and Bill Gates, the other two co-chairs. We bring together 31 commissioners from across the globe, uh, including Sheila Patel, the chair of Slum and Shack Dwellers International, who I understand is with you in Addis this week. Our Global Commission aims to raise the visibility of the need for climate adaptation and it is also focused on catalyzing concrete solutions. We are preparing a flagship report which makes the case for prioritizing adaptation, but very importantly we are initiating seven action tracks. They will catalyze progress on specific adaptation challenges from finance to food security and rural livelihoods to resilient infrastructure and more. They will be, they will be co-created in a transparent way that builds accountability, lifts up political ownership. We are focusing one action track on something that is uh, subject to your discussion, the need to empower locally led adaptation action. So community-based adaptation can actually flourish because what is most critical is what happens at the local level to meet that global challenge. We know that uh, it is communities in coastal areas, in places affected by drought or floods or hurricanes that are experiencing climate change today and also finding out the solutions, how we can deal with it. And this is where your contribution is going to be absolutely essential. It is your livelihoods that are at stake but it is also your action that would build resilience for the future. Through this dedicated action track, we seek to mobilize and scale resources for local action. 
The World Bank also aims to use our community-driven development programs to support building community resilience in partnership with local governments and community-based institutions. We work under the principles of transparency, participation, accountability, and enhanced local capacity. We hope you will inform the deliberations of the Global Commission's locally-led adaptation action track at a dedicated session on Thursday. And indeed, we look forward to working in partnership with you to empower greater action on local adaptation in the years to come. Thank you for your work to build resilience locally and make the whole world stronger for the future. I wish you a very productive and inspiring meeting.